before banks and digital payment system came into use in India. People followed an offline wallet system, called the Carta system. Solely built on trust, everyone back in the day, be it the milkman or the shopkeeper, used it. The ownership of the offline wallet system was with the end user and so followed convenience. The underlying intention for both the parties was that the commerce should happen without any friction and delay. Similarly, in the USA, when credit or debit cards did not exist in the late 50s, people paid with checks at shops if they did not carry enough cash. Chet Chidanand, co-founder of Simple, says, however, with the rise of smartphones, the point of sale is now back with the user, spotting an opportunity to reinvent what payments could look like and put the power back in the customer's hands. Chetrachi Danand and Nityanand Sharma started Simple in March 2016 in Bangalore. It is an additional credit wallet, which helps people make payments upfront on their purchases by paying the entire generated bill. After a 20-day cycle, However, Simple isn't essentially a lending platform, but only offers a smoother checkout mechanism. Monsieur Chetrachi Duncan, an MBA graduate from Stanford University, Chetra was previously working with Stanford Angels and entrepreneurs in the Silicon Valley before she moved to India. According to Chetra, while living in the U.S., she was told that her FICO score is very important to be able to live well and she needed to apply for a credit card soon. However, Nityanand Sharma, co-founder, Simpal, and husband of one of Chetra's friends, did not want a credit card for the sake of having one. With the high interest rates, Chet thought that taking a credit card otherwise would be the most expensive and financially irresponsible affair. Simple gives the merchants its tech platform to be able to provide a frictionless buying experience for their customers. The startup works on an open P&L profit and loss model with its merchants with a ledger in the cloud that connects with the merchant's transactional system. Using some data points provided by the merchant, Simple and writes its users using machine learning. A Simple team however, when asked about incurring costs for Simple, Chetra refers to three of them, the working capital, the cost of default, and the cost of settlement. Essentially, the startup does whatever it can to move the needles further away from the user where he, she has to settle from the bank accounts directly. Subsequently, it takes away the cost of settlement from the user automatically. The startup uses machine learning in underwriting, fraud prevention, and payment collections. Rishabh Bhagat, a student and a simple user, says, the startup, which has 95 employees, has humorously categorized its user base into four categories. Diligent AY are the users who pay rents on time. Freelance Freddy is where students use the service and disappear during payments. Broke Babu are the young millennials who make the payments a month later with a late fee. And then there is Lazy Lakshman where users keep postponing the payments. According to the team, this tells them on how to go about managing their operations better and efficient. A white paper by ACI Worldwide along with AGS Transact Technologies. AGS DTL says digital transactions in India can hit $1 trillion annually by 2025. However, Simple ISNT, the first startup in the credit space, may use LazyPay has been in the market since April 2017. In February last year, there was KSHT which also launched the Scan and Pay Later feature allowing users to shop on credit using its QR code. At a time when merchant companies were busy building their own prepaid wallets, what set Simple apart is that it aimed at providing a transparent financial system to everyone it. The click of a button in real time, with no hidden charges, according to the company. It has achieved its unit economic profitability with a 28% revenue growth since inception. It has raised a total of $2.5 million in funding from My Ventures and Joseph Saunders, the ex-CEO of Wizza.
Over the years, the startup also claims to have seen 5x growth in terms of processed transactions. With over 5 lakh downloads, the app is available both on Google Play Store and the App Store. With a surge to making payment experiences absolutely invisible, Chetra believes that this innovation can be taken to the rest of the world. She says, her investors in the US tell that the system makes sense even for their market. And there is no reason why American merchants have to pay 2 to 3% to Visa MasterCard just to process the transactions. Subscribe to the channel for more.